Hey everybody, welcome to JLB Sports TV. I am Justin Black, and I'm now uh, reading reports online that Rafa Benitez, the manager of my beloved Liverpool, is about to be sacked. At first I was thinking, wait, how is that even possible? He has a 15 million pound uh, termination clause in his contract. Well, the Liverpool board is about to offer him a $3 million severance package or a buyout package because we simply can't afford to pay the 15 million pounds. So, uh, that's it. Um, right now, I'm just coming in full defense of Rafa Benitez. I think the board is freaking retarded. Um, I think most of you out there would agree with me. A, a good amount of the fan base I know knows that Rafa needs to be sent out and this Chelsea-led Li Liverpool board, whatever it is, Hicks and Gillette, the Chelsea, uh, the Chelsea supporter, I forget his name, who's now the, uh, the club chairman trying to sell Liverpool, just, they're all terrible. Rafa needs to stay, and here's why. Since he be, uh, became uh, Liverpool manager back in 2004, he has finished no worse than fifth in the Premier League, Premier League, if you don't count this disaster of a season. And guess what? In the season we finished fifth, oh, Istanbul won the Champions League. And I know some people say, oh, well, he just won the Champions League with Jared Houllier's team. It wasn't Rafa's team. He didn't build that team. It's not really his team. Well, that team wasn't very good, and he still led them to the Champions League. Not only the final, but the miracle. That was Istanbul. He won the Champions League with a bad team, or I shouldn't say bad team, but with a team that shouldn't have won the Champions League by any stretch of the imagination. Credit to Rafa. Credit to the players, but credit to Rafa. Um, I've also read today, I think it was, um, where is it? On AnfieldOnline.co.uk, that he said this is the third straight year that he hasn't had any funds to work with. We've had to, and you People were saying, oh, he spent so much money. He's been throwing money everywhere. He spent over 200 million pounds. Yes, but he's had to sell to buy. And we all know that, that doesn't win you championships. Teams like Chelsea, Manchester United, I guess Manchester City now, um, Real Madrid, Barcelona. No, they don't sell to buy. They just buy. When you sell to buy, you're losing squad depth. You're, you're eliminating some of the players that could be great quality backups. And we all know over the rigorous Premier League season, there are tons of injuries. And those quality backups eventually become quality starters. Death is so important in the Premier League. Not only, it's important in all league just because this rigorous, rigorous September to May schedule is just absolutely brutal. But the Premier League is rough and tumble. There's obviously um, more chance of an injury because of the rougher style of play. But the best teams in the Premier League, they don't sell to buy. They buy, 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 and build quality, quality depth. And that's what honestly wins championships. It's not, yes, you need the world-class players that we, like Gerrard and Torres, but you also need the players behind them, the supporting players, that can take advantage when Torres goes down. David Ngog isn't going to win you a championship when Torres gets injured, which seems to be inevitable every season. You can't win that way. And this is the third straight year that Rafa isn't going to have a transfer kitty to work with so he can buy, buy, buy and not sell and buy. And right now we don't really have any sellable assets besides, I guess, Torres and Gerrard, but we all know they shouldn't be sold. No, no, we need those players. Without them, this team is absolute crap. Um, going on with transfer funds, uh, well, the transfer market, he's also brought in Torres, Reyna, Johnson, Cout, but most importantly, Torres and Reyna. He brought those two in. He, and he brought in Torres before he was a world-class player. I know he still cost 26, 25 million pounds, but the season before he came to Liverpool, I believe he only, he only had 15 goals for, Athlet for Atletico Madrid. That's not an outstanding tally. It's still a good tally in La Liga. It's not an outstanding tally. So he brought him in, and under Rafa Benitez, Torres has blossomed into arguably the greatest striker in the world. When healthy. When healthy. He also brought in Pepe Reina, who... Just save for save, game for game, I th was Liverpool's best player last season, far and away, and probably one of the best players in the Premier League, and probably one of the top five goalkeepers in the world. If you want to say Buffon, Iker Casillas, you know, Reyna is right up there with those guys. And he, Rafa brought him in. He's brought in world-class players with little, 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 little bits of money he's had. So when he's had the chance to spend, he spent very well in my mind. Um... There's no admitting his mistakes in the transfer market as well. Uh, when he sort of, when uh, Zabi Alonso left last year, Aquilani was, I agree, that was just a terrible, terrible signing. Um, Aquilani was trying to play, replace Alonso, and uh, he, he was kind of misplayed. Alonso was a guy who played back, played deeper, deeper, deeper in the uh, in the pitch, and sort of controlled the game like an Andre Pirlo or Zabi. 
No, Aquilani doesn't have that that vision, that passing ability. He likes to attack, attack, attack. Which he's he's more suited for attacking midfielder role, not the the deep line midfielder role that Zabi Alonso has. So that's that's still an area that needs to be addressed for Liverpool. That deep line midfield role, which is essential in Rafa's four two three one formation. Um, <laughs> I guess last year's tally, which is just. I mean, it was atrocious. But the year before that, 86 points. One of Liverpool, Liverpool's best season in God knows how long. The first time that Liverpool has actually contended to, uh, for the title until, like, the last month of the season. When was the last time that's happened for Liverpool? I don't even know. I was probably born way after that. That probably happened before I was even born. That was in 1993. So he's had his mistakes in the transfer market, you know. Say, players say he's cold. That's what Zabi Alonso. That one of the reasons he left was because of Rafa. Um, he's had his criticisms, but he's still a great manager. Oh, and he's also just absolutely baffling lineups. I don't know why the hell he never played Ryan Babel this year, but that's another story. Um, but he's still a great manager. And he managers aren't like players; they just don't become terrible overnight. He's a great manager, and I don't honestly I don't know who who would you replace him with. I don't, I don't know, because you're not going to find anybody as good as Rafa, that's for sure. Um, I really, I don't want to really rant on the owners this video. This is more of a defend Rafa video, not attack owners video, even though there's two seem to uh, dovetail quite nicely. But I just want to bring up this one point. I was reading, um, you guys should all read this book, Soccernomics. It basically um, applies economic principles to the game of soccer. And the two authors of it found um, found that there's a deep, deep, deep correlation between the salary and the spending that a team has and to uh, to their league finish, their position. Big surprise, right? But they're actually con concrete numbers to back it up. And if you run that model of um, a predicted success, Liverpool was actually supposed to finish ninth last season. It's because they haven't spent any money, and they don't. They haven't spent any money. They were supposed to, buy they were supposed. Let, let me spell this out for you. Liverpool was supposed to finish ninth by the Soccernomics economic model, which compares players spend with player salary and transfer uh, and sp just overall spending on players to league position. Liverpool was supposed to finish ninth. They finished seventh. So actually, Rafa, you you took a team that was supposed to that was supposed to finish ninth and you brought them to seventh. Good job for you. And God knows where they were supposed to finish the season before, and they finished second. Second. So I think Rafa has done an absolutely brilliant job as manager. He's just been undermined by owners. His players have suffered just horrendous injuries. I'm happy that Liverpool has a new team doctor, and hopefully we can fix that injury bug this season. But sacking Rafa for £3 million isn't the way to go. That's not the way to fix Liverpool Football Club. So that's all for today for JLB Sports TV. And I know... Nobody in the Liverpool board is ever going to hear this, but don't sack Rafa. You should probably kill yourselves, and that would do. That would be doing us a favor, us Liverpool fans a favor. Um, so that's all for today for JLB Sports TV. Um, unfortunately, Rafa Benitez is about to be sacked. Tears of sadness from Justin's face. Um, see you later, guys.